Hello guys and welcome back. I'm uh, going to take a look at the 1991-92 Tyco's Fast Tracks. This is my childhood Fast Tracks. Uh, it's survived all the moves and all the years and all the play. Uh, it has not run in about 25 plus years or so. Uh, maybe 30. Uh, but uh, this here is again my childhood Fast tracks. It uh, is missing its original remote. It's also missing its battery cover. Uh, I do have here the Typhoon remote. I uh, did have the Typhoon as a kid as well. What an awesome vehicle that was! But I lost my fast tracks remote and I lost my Typhoon. Uh, but I'm hoping because this is 27 megahertz remote and a 27 megahertz RC I could use this to control my fast tracks uh, I believe it will work uh, find out soon enough uh, but I've had this I pulled it out of my garage years ago and uh, I was tinkering with it I had an old uh, the old yellow Tyco packs wouldn't hold a charge uh, I bought a used pack about a year or so ago off eBay that one did not take a charge either uh, so recently I decided to uh, order another brand new 9.6V replacement battery off eBay. I'll show you that in a moment. And uh, that came in. It is currently sitting on the floor getting charged with a vintage charger. So it's been about four hours. I'm going to take that off momentarily to see if this Tyco Fast Tracks will start up after 25 plus years of sitting uh, this is the original color it was uh, this color that I know they made a yellow one uh, this is not uh, the plastic this is a paint job I did on it because I did a terrible paint job on it years ago tried to clean it off just wouldn't come off so I just repainted it its original color uh, and put it back together recently in anticipation of the battery um, so let's see if this works okay so we're back uh, it's off the charger gonna plug in this is the battery I picked up in case you're looking for one for one of your vintage 9.6 V Tycos or RC's it's the uh, mighty max battery uh, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, in case you need that. Uh, it's got the original type connector. So let's see if it works. All right, again, I don't have my battery cover. Uh, there's the on switch. And I have a red light. So it is powered for the first time in 20 something years my typhoon remote let's see this thing works Woo! and it had uh, low and high gear so it's in low gear now switch it over to high gear Got the shocks there let's see here Uh, this was one of the fastest RCs, uh, I guess they call this toy grade of its day. Uh, it's still pretty fast. Uh, I'm going to have to rig something up to hold that battery in place. And then we'll take a look at the Tyco Fast Tracks return after 25 plus years. So cool.
All right, so that was a lot of fun messing with the uh, the old uh, fast tracks. It's super fast. I really couldn't capture uh, its full speed on camera and the little setup I had, but uh, definitely has a lot of power. My tracks are pretty rough. I mean, the the tread is pretty worn down, so it doesn't do as well as it used to on grass. Uh, and they're also a little bit loose as well, as you've seen in the video. So, um, I don't know that they have any replacement tracks available for this, uh, or replacement decals or anything like that. It would be great if they did, but as it stands, they don't. Um, but I'm just happy to have it running and working again. Really is a testament to how well made these were. I mean, this sat in an untemperature controlled garage for 25 years or so. Uh, this is a 30, 31 year old RC, and it still runs great. I mean, the fact that there's even rubber left after that long um, is amazing. Again, I wish they had replacement parts for this, because it would be great to get a new pair of treads for it and some stickers to kind of make it look like it used to but it's cool just to have it and to have it running uh, I just uh, rigged a velcro setup to hold it in place because I'm missing my battery cover but it held in great so no problems there uh, wasn't looking to invest a lot of money into this uh, just spent the money for the battery really and that was it and little spray paint I had left around in the uh, in the garage so it's really cool to have this uh hope you enjoyed taking a look at the old tyco fast tracks thanks for watching till next time